Hi, my name is Alessandro Gandrosi and that's a new video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. We have to continue working at the uh, tiny train uh, uh, we, we were uh, preparing. And this time I like to add more pieces and then finalize or start finalizing the, the shading and also the, the lighting and uh, point of view. So, uh, let's pick the basic model there and let's select all the pieces using the uh, control key. Let's go in a perspective to be able to select also the other piece there. And this one will be a group. And this group will be train part one. So back there let's hide the lights okay uh, let's go let's go at full screen zooming to the train and we need to attach the other uh, the other pieces so uh, to create an additional pieces uh, we can create something really uh, really simple so let's go for a compound object uh, sorry um, an extended primitives sampher and we can go for a shape similar to the the first one and this one will be a little bit higher and we'll have a little bit of uh, fillet let's go for something like that because we are talking about uh, a toy so it's better to, to have it uh, we uh, have to align on the y-axis then we can move it there let's imagine that we have a little bit of space between one and the other one uh, then let's create a copy of this one because we'll use it to create a boolean operation and let's imagine that this that pieces as let's imagine first of all to make another copy because I like to create two different pieces and this one will have something like that there and it will be longer and it will be oh sorry control Z it will be more little on this axis okay so let's pick this one, compound objects, pro boolean, start picking and pick this one. And you see that we have the right pieces done, but the first one I like to do it in a different way. So let's go to have something like that, and then we can go back there, start picking, and this one. Okay then we can convert to editable poly using the right mouse button and then from this point of view we can select we can stay uh, with this shape it's uh, it's not bad so uh, let's make it just a little bit more little than this one. Oh, sorry. This one can be moved there, and then we have the other one, and the other one will stay there. Let's make a copy, and we'll say that this one has something like that, more longer and more little but let's go there from top and then this one compound object start picking and we removed okay uh, so now I'd like to move this one there one 
there and we can start creating uh, uh, some shape so uh, we have to attach in any way we can use again something like that and it can stay there let's use more shape and it will be aligned on the y-axis okay and then this one can be moved just a little bit then we can create we can make a copy uh, let's open this group and this one can be moved using the shift key let's make a copy and group the touch okay uh, let's rotate by 90 degree Ctrl Z let's use the A key to have the angle snaps and then let's align to this one perfect then we can make it more little and it can be more little over these other axis too okay and let's imagine that this one is there and the other copy is there okay so we need something like that on the other space there too so using the shift key let's make a copy and zoom okay then we need to have something like in these cases so let's make a copy using the shift key and we can detach from the group okay let's work on this copy there we have to move there and let's move also the other one but I'm sure that we have to scale again this one so let's select this area and we can move it sorry let's move a little bit in this way okay so from the left uh, sorry the front let's close this selection and then we need these objects and we can move this one and then we can move this one then again let's select this and let's make a clone and you see that also there we have a complete meshes but we have to move let's select just this piece okay and then we can move with this and let's move it there okay so we have a little bit more train there we can make a copy of this one so we'll have that pieces cloned so let's select this area and this objects too and we make a copy in this way 
Okay. So you see we have these pieces in this way. Uh, so now let's go in the material editor and we have the red food. Let's make a copy and this one will be the green train boot and we'll use a green color and let's see if we have to change something more I think no okay so this one can have this map then we can use the yellow for these pieces and we can create and use the blue on this color then we need just to set the color for these pieces and we can go for a white plastic for example or maybe we can use let's go for a black plastic so black plastic so we can go for a black color and we'll have no bump let's set the IRR to 1 7 and let's assign a little bit more reflection the color of the reflection is obviously white and let's give for more rackness, uh, glossiness okay let's uh, save this one so let's see the detail it's this one, copy, new folder, and this one will be the part 2. So there we'll have just to add part 2. Uh, let's make a test render, just rendering this one. It will be really simple, just to see if it is going in the right way you see that it is not bad okay cancel then I like to create another set of pieces for the back area let's see from the camera what we have okay uh, let's go back to the perspective and then let's select the species and let's move it just a little bit okay so now let's create the sulfur box as the others This one can be moved there and I like to give it a different shape or maybe we can do uh, a better thing let's make a copy there and then let's use a spline with a snap we can do something like uh, let's go for something like that and then something like that and then we can do something like that something like that and then we can create an arc like this one okay then uh, right mouse button convert to editable spline
let's remove the snap using the S key and we can do attach to this one this one, this one and this one then let's go at the vertices and we have to fuse there fuse there and weld 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 because it's not useful to make the fuse because we have all the vertices fused okay uh, we have this one and then we can first of all scale it over one axis and then we can move this vertices down and then let's align to this one there and we can go for an extrude and let's change the value there so that means that we have some vertices that are still not closed so let's isolate and let's check there well okay then back at the full screen and we can convert but I like to see uh, the scale if it's right or not okay we can go for something like that let's convert to editable poly and then let's see the edges faces and I like to select let's zoom everything let's select these edges but just the edges that are inside the window and then I like to have this one this one this one and then I need this one too, this one, this one and we need also this one and this one let's go at full screen and we say sumfer and let's go to have more step okay let's close and you see that now we have something with more toys look let's go for a smooth add a smooth perfect let's pick this one and let's remove and let's remove this one too so uh, let's go on the top and we need this object, this object we can make a copy using the shift key let's still use the copy because I'm not sure if I have to do something different and then we need the tire and let's use the shift key so you see that we have this other piece of toy and this one can be again let's think about maybe the green sorry I'll select this one this will be green we need also the UV map I didn't create the UV map before so maybe we can go for uh, let's go for boxes actually okay so uh, let's create a copy of the smash so I like to pick that pieces but let's say that I like to pick all the pieces are inside the window the selection window and control Z let's make a zoom there 
and I'll select this one. Okay, and let's make a copy. And let's make it zoom there, it's okay. Back there. And this one is made by, just to remember, the green train. And this one can be maybe the blue train. Okay, so just to see that's the train, just let's make a really uh, simple preview. So you see that's our train. Now I'd like to, um, sorry, uh, maybe we can make, oh, it's okay. So uh, I like to make a test about how to rotate <coughs> sorry all the stuffs so uh, this grip is closed then we need a grip for this one this one this one etc etc so let's go there and let's select this pieces let's remove from the uh, selection sorry control Z Let's remove this one using the Alt key and let's add this. This one will be the group and let's call it train one. Then let's select there. Let's remove. Sorry. Uh, let's remove this one with the Alt key. And let's select this one and this one with the control key. And then we'll have group train two. Then let's continue to make selection. So let's select this area. Let's select this one. Sorry. And let's zoom. And let's select this one. And we can use the pan to deselect using the Alt key this one, and this will be train 3. Then, for the last part, we are near to finish. So, zoom there, select this one. Let's see, it's also there, the selection. And let's just select this one. And there we have group train four. And then we have just the last pieces. We have not the crossing, but we have the complete selection. Let's go there. Let's select the last piece. And we have train five save. Okay, so uh, let's go there to adjust the pivot point and we move the pivot point there to the center of this mesh. Let's select this one, affect pivot, and we do the same to adjust the pivot there. Let's zoom. We can use also the align, obviously, but I'm going really, really fast just to prepare a simple setup. Then we can move this one at the center of the smash, select there, and move. And then doing the same uh, thing for all the pieces so you see I will move this one and then the last one affect people and we'll have the same okay so 
there in the perspective, you see that now we can, sorry, okay, let's retry, okay, now it works, let's go there, this one, okay, now everything seems working fine, Okay, and this way, for example, you can create also, for example, an expression if you like to do something more uh, realistic, but I'm not going to do uh, something so in-depth. We can just maybe align, uh, sorry, link every piece to the other one. That means that, for example, you see if I rotate this one, or these pieces, we have the rotation for the other pieces too. So save. Okay, uh, we can uh, set a position. So let's go on the top view, and we can, for example, pick this one. And let's say that we have something like that. Okay, this is something more interesting than back there. And we like to add something to the scene. So I will create using the snap. You see, I am just creating a, a curve. And we can go there. Let's adjust this point. Let's remove the snap using the S key. We can use the refine to have some more vertices to control the curve. Then let's remove the refine and we can move this area. that you see a little bit different curve. Let's check this one and this one can be removed. Move it there. This one can be okay. This one maybe should stay there. But we can fix also this one later. So uh, now we can create a shape, and this will be really, really simple. Uh, let's say that we'll have something like that. But to do it, we can do something really nice, and this will be to have just these objects visible. So you see we have something more simple to create this one. Okay, let's imagine that we have something like that. Okay, then we can make a mirror with a copy, and we can move the mirrored copy there. I like just to move a little bit this vertices there, and then we have just to go there and make the same thing we can do. Obviously, we had the possibility to do the same before, but it's not a problem. Let's attach then vertices. There's two vertices uh, fused 
and weld fuse and weld then we can select this one and cancel and select this one and cancel okay let's exit from there and then we can select the curve and say that we like to create um, a loft in the compound object get shape and we select the shape so you see we are doing something useful to have the train inside then we can move it and we can move it selecting this one and the first group oh, sorry control Z select just this one and move it to have the root in the right position then we have maybe another problem so let's go in the shape and we have to change the shape so shape vertices and I like to pick all vertices and do the samfer but we can do this one before so uh, let's close there let's pick the loft we can remove it let's exit from there let's pick this one and just hide all the other stuffs but we have to go before the sunfer okay so let's pick the loft let's remove it and this one can be height and then we can pick uh, let's do a fillet maybe control Z it's too big let's try with 005 that will be good and we can align to the center exit from there and then back to the selection for this one and then loft get shape and we select this one so we have you see the right space to have the train inside okay uh, another thing I like to do is to move this one over the terrain so we can move over the y uh, the z axis and that's okay then we select the first one and we have to move it the train or the z axis to stay over let's go on the first camera we created and you see that we have it we can just maybe let's remove the angle snap just to have a more interesting camera okay you see with a little bit of more perspective and let's rotate a little bit more and then A little bit more and we can go a little bit more near the camera there okay and save uh, so we have all the objects we need and we have this new piece we are talking about the loft mesh and uh, let's do something about the skin there 
optimize the shape let's do more steps to have a curved shape and then we can assign uh, a really simple shader made uh, let's use the back uh, the black train wood and we call it train wood and uh, let's see this one is too dark I like to use a brighter color so bitmap and let's see in the uh, 3ds max folder if we have a nice wood shader uh, material sorry uh, let's get in the maps wood and we have this one that uh, is not bad okay let's go there and we see in the surface to apply the mapping so you see we have this mapping we can rotate by 90 degree and let's multiply maybe just like that to be less visible okay uh, let's remove the blurring and this one will be copied and then we can put this one as a paste we can have a little bit more reflectivity let's go for 003 and we can have the same map there copy and there we can use a color correction keep all map we remove the saturation so we'll have a black and white map you see okay and then for the bumping we can use the same we are using there copy and we can put there paste the last thing we have to do is to remove a little bit of blurring let's try it zero two see let's see uh, what we have in this way with a really fast preview the wood uh, seems not bad I think we are going in the right way. Maybe we have a little bit too much depth of field. So let's cancel. Select camera. And let's change the F stops. Let's try with six maybe it's a little bit too much 7 and then maybe it's ok let's see in rendering because you have to remember that the scale is really a uh, little Let's do the last change to a shader and I'm talking about the uh, pavements. Let's repeat the shader there and we get to have a little bit more reflectivity so it's 0 0.75 and uh, about the glossiness this one can be a little bit brighter. Uh, let's see a test. see we have a little bit more reflectivity over the pyramids but we have still the glossiness and maybe I like to add some more colors there so let's pick this one let's make a copy and this one will be uh, let's say the 
orange and this piece let's open the group and this piece we have this one we can go there to change the color and I like to have an orange color okay and this one is blue and maybe we can make a copy and uh, let's call it light blue and we go there open this group and select this one and we go for something like that uh, let's close this group and let's close this group let's make a test and to make the test we can make selection just for this area okay you see so we have more different colors and uh, it seems a little bit more interesting okay cancel and let's remove the region so that's our final result and you see it seems really not bad so uh, I like to thank you uh, for following us on this series of tutorial and I like to uh, tell you that we'll be back really soon to see some nice new tutorial so let's check maybe before we are closing the series just for a second the light okay we can move this one there let's make a test and let's move the target there and this one will stay there and select and this one also will be move it there let's remake a test, this one can be done more little we have obviously to change the lighting let's start adding more lights to this one and let's say first of all that this one will be maybe 15 let's go for 25 I like to have more lighting coming from there and that's nice and then about the other light this one I like to have it a little bit more cold uh, let's go for 20 it is a little bit too much let's go for 12 okay and the last one let's go for 10 okay the result is really nice okay so let's stop it that's our final result and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com bye